Hello everyone, I'm Brooklyn K. Welcome to my channel. Today I decided to take a break from my Halloween tutorials and just do this fresh, easy fall tutorial. I hope you all enjoy this video. If you end up recreating it, make sure to tag me in your recreations. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do and give this video a thumbs up as well. And with no further ado, let's get into the video. So starting off, you wanna make sure your skin's prepped. Always prep your skin. I feel like I've said this a million times before. So now I'm going to prime with the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I've been loving this. I think it's a great primer and I feel like my skin really does look better. Like I feel like on the days I don't use it, I'm like, what is going on? And on the days I do use it, I'm like, wow, my makeup looks so good. If you really wanna see if a product works, stop using it for a while and then try using it again and you'll see if it really works. Another fall tip is typically you're gonna be a little bit lighter in your foundation shade. So I do recommend getting at least two different foundations, one being the darkest you get in the summer and then one being the lightest you get in the winter and you can mix them. Like for example, I've been loving this foundation, the Revlon Candid. So I have 320 and 220. I mix them when I'm kind of in between my tannest shade and my lightest shade, but right now, I'm fitting into the lightest, so that's what I'm going to be using today. Oh, and I realized I haven't talked about these, but this is a sponge I got on Amazon. They come in a pack of like five and it's only $7. It's such a good deal and these are such good sponges. Like I feel like they're how the original Beauty Blender felt. They're awesome. And the reason I really like this foundation is because it covers nicely. It's like a medium coverage, but you can build it up to be where you like it to be. And it has just a nice natural finish. Right now it's a little bit dewier, but we will be setting it. Now onto concealer. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. You guys know that I love this, so I'm just applying that. And this is the shade Light Sand. And then I'm gonna hop off camera and do my brows and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so my brows are done and I have powdered. And I feel like with fall, people don't like as much glow as they do in the summer. So I've been skipping on highlighter and I've loved how my skin has looked. So let's move on to the eyes. So a really important part of fall and just makeup in general is picking a palette that is flattering for your skin tone. So for me, I'm pretty warm, bordering olive. I look a little green when I get really pale. So I like more of the warmer shades. If you have a cool skin tone and you're more of like a pinky tone, typically cooler toned eyeshadows look good on you. So neutrals, neutral browns, kind of like the mauvey colors, but I love warm orangey tones. Okay, so I have one eye already done. Now let's get into it. I will be adding lashes, but I didn't really want to be wearing lashes on one eye and not the other because I would feel a little too weird. So let's begin. So the first palette I'm taking is the Morphe 3502 palette. I love this one. I think it's such a great fall palette. I'm taking this shade right here and this is a Morphe 505 brush and using this as a transition shade, just buffing that into the crease. Okay, so for the next shade, I'm mixing this color and this one together, and I am putting that deeper into the crease. Dipping into the olivey brown shade and this shade here, I'm going into the outer corner. We just want it slightly deeper, but not by too much. And then I'm jumping into a different palette. This is the Naked Reloaded palette. And I'm dipping into this shade Reputation. It's kind of like a bronzy, but rosy shade at the same time. And this is a dry brush. I'm not using a wet brush because I want it to just be very soft. Next up, I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm taking the black shade in this palette and I'm pushing it right into the lashes. 
And now taking a small brush, I'm dipping into, I'm doing a mixture of these browns, so the dark brown and this medium brown, just to smoke out that liner. And I want it thickest on the outer portion. And then I'm slightly winging it out, just gently pulling it out. We don't want too much of like a dramatic wing. And then I am taking a gel liner. This is a twist up by Bobbi Brown and filling in my tight line. This helps make the lashes look a little fuller. For the lower lash line, I'm taking the nice olive color we used earlier. This just helps make sure the bottom of the eye is not lost. And just blending it out. We just want a very blended eye. Now moving on to lashes, I'm going to be applying the Kiss Little Black Dress Lashes and I will be right back. Alrighty, so I have lashes on. I love these because they are the perfect lash for me. They're nice and subtle for like everyday wear, but they're not too much either. Next thing is we're gonna highlight the inner corner. I'm taking this shade. It's not completely matte, but it's not quite satin either. It's this shade called Bribe, but I like it because it's not too frosty. And I am just popping that on the inner corner there and also extending it on the bottom. And now we are going to move on to the rest of the face. For bronzer, I'm using my trusty old Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this stuff. I'm using a Bobbi Brown blush brush to apply it. I like it because it's not too warm. I love a warm bronzer in the summer, but for the fall and winter, sometimes it just looks a little orange. I really like this one because it's a nice neutral shade. And I'm going on the cheekbone rather than too far underneath. And then making sure it's a little more pigmented toward the back. And recently I've loved contouring my nose, so I'm using the same butter bronzer. And the shade I have is just bronzer. I know they have a light bronzer, dark bronzer. Mine's just the original shade bronzer. And then just toning it down, this is a concealer brush that I typically use, just to make sure it's not too much. Now for blush, I love this color in the fall time. It is called Ginger by Laura Mercier. I'm sure I've used it before on this channel. I just freaking love it. So just taking that on a JH04, and I'm just focusing it on the back of the cheekbone. A lot of the trend now is going right on top, so I'm taking a little bit there, but not too much. Almost like into the eye area. And now for lips, I'm going in with Laura Mercier Hazelnut Tea Lip Liner. Okay, so I just rubbed in that lip liner into my lips. I have a little chapstick on from before I started this. And then I'm going to put on some lip gloss. This is the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. Then I feel like I need a teeny bit more blush. It's just not showing up the way I like. And then for a soft highlighted look, I'm using the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder in the shade 1. I like this because it's very smoothing. In fact, I'll use this as an all over powder on the face, but it just gives you such a pretty airbrushed look. And then I kind of like to pounce it in with my beauty blender. Okay, so I added one thing and this helped the eyes pop a lot more. Um, Cause I just, they were missing a little something. So I took the Anastasia Glow Kit and dipped into the shade Moonstone right here. And I just put that on the inner third of the eye. That just added a little extra pop. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.